Hey everybody, George here from Paintball Revolution. So I want to do a quick unboxing video of the Dye DSR, kind of show you guys what's going on in there, what 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 it comes with, and maybe take a look at the gun. So let's do that. So here it is, the Dye DSR, and right away you can see that this is very reminiscent of what Dye is doing with their markers and cases and everything. So let's just jump right in. Take that sleeve off. It's that nice hard form case. These guys are really durable. Keep your keep your equipment in good shape. So happy about that case. So inside you can see it's got that uh, formed uh, foam. So keeps everything in place. There's the barrel. I'll take that out so that we can put it together so you guys can see what it looks like. So the barrel tip and the barrel back. There's also a barrel cover in here. And set of Allens, very helpful. There's a registration card and here is a quick start card or a startup guide as it says. And these are really helpful because it is going to explain to you some of the things that are really important. You know, how to install the battery, how to change your uh, velocity, uh, some of the main functions of the MOS screen and then as well as a build out for your bolt. So when you're taking that apart, you've got the exploded view so you can see what you're looking at. It also shows you the O-rings. And then down here, there's an O-ring o ring guide and this whole thing is basically laminated. So this is a really good guide. You might as well just keep it in there for when you need to service your marker. Um, these guys are really helpful. So on the other side here, we have some of those colored O-rings as well as some additional spare parts. There's some screws in here. There's a detent replacement in there. Uh, don't eat this. There's a battery to get you started. That's just a standard nine volt. This is an energy paintball that comes with the kit at the time of this video. But um, these are basically standard nine volts is what's working in this marker. And then in here, there is a USB cable. This is for updating the firmware on your MOS system. So. That's what that's for. It's not a it's not a charger because this battery does work with a nine volt battery. So this is not a charger. This is just to update your firmware. They've included that as well. And then of course, the uh, die slick lube for when you do service your marker. Here's a little bit to get you started. All right, set that stuff aside. Let's take out the marker. And here we go. So we are looking at the die DSR here and right away it it feels really light it does you know it's nice and compact so this is a a good marker for you guys that are looking to move quickly stay stay nice and nice and compact it's going to work for that uh, it still does use the iPipe system now this is the same iPipe that die created for the M2 so I believe they say it's 60% thicker, so um, it's also a little bit, little bit flexible, so it won't crack as easy. They don't have that that problem with these guys uh, cracking from over tightening the barrels anymore that people were complaining about. But uh, the eye pipes are dyes patented system that helps keep the eyes down inside the breech protected. Uh, also, the O-ring on the front of the bolt wipes it clean every time, and it protects the inside of your marker from breech wear. So Dye really, really likes using that eye pipe system. And once you get used to it, it's not that big of a deal. As you can see, I pulled it out, put it back in, no problem. Now the bolt, this is the new arc bolt. So it's got this quick release on the back here. So it slides in and out really easily. You just press that button and that little release drops down and you can pull it straight out. And so this is their new arc bolt design and it is inside the DSR. So that's basically the bolt. And as I mentioned, it does use that method operating system with that five-way joystick here on the back. There's no battery, it's here. But uh, that is the method operating system. Now, speaking of the battery, let me show you guys how you get this open. Um, you can use a screwdriver or a coin if you got one. And right here on the front grip, there's a little, uh, like a plastic screw cap basically you turn it to the left and it will disengage 
the front grip, which drops straight off. Make sure I got it fully disengaged. Excuse me. There we go. That'll drop straight off. And you've got a place for the 9 volt battery. Now, this uh, screw cap actually stays uh, captured in there, so you shouldn't lose that too easily. 9 volt battery goes in the front, and then that grip goes back on, and then this snaps back into place, and you're ready to go. So let me put this together so you guys can see it real quick. Now, if you guys are familiar with the sticky grips that use the toolless system, the DSR is a little bit different. It does have two screws that need to come off before the grip can come off. They're the two most forward screws, one there and one there. These two holes here are for uh, your trigger adjustments, but these two front need to come off before that grip comes away. So unlike the, the toolless sticky grips, on the previous markers. This does have actually the two screws, so you will need to re remove those to take the grip off. Uh, it uses the same ASA system that the M2 uses, so if you're familiar with that, that's there as well. And that's basically it, guys. There is the DSR. These are available on the website at paintballrevolution.com. If you guys are, are looking for a nice marker that's gonna fit your your speedball, you want something electronic, you want something light, you want something quick, the DSR might be a good option for you. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to get a hold of us. We love to hear from you. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.